We're Kaylee and Lindy. Two years ago, we left our small high desert homestead and moved to Washington State. Since then, we've been bringing you along as we create our dream permaculture homestead on two acres. Join us this week as we continue our garden expansion by filling 18 200-gallon felt grow bags, which will give us a lot more growing space and hopefully make it easier to grow heat-loving crops. And if you're enjoying these vlogs, please consider subscribing or sharing them with a friend. I Okay, welcome back to our little weekend vlog. There is a lot going on <laughs> right now. So if you've been following along, it is springtime. We are fully in the chaos of being on a homestead in springtime. And that means we have plants that need to get planted. The greenhouse is full with all of our hot crops just waiting <laughs> for the right time to be able to finally plant them out. It's been an exceptionally cold spring. So Hopefully within the next two weeks, we'll be able to get them all planted out. But that's actually been kind of a blessing in disguise because it's given us extra time to work on the new garden area. And especially considering that the new garden space that we're building is primarily going to be used for those hot crops. So let's go take a look. I think you guys are going to be so impressed by the progress that we've made since the last video. Um, and bear in mind, it's been two weeks we took a week off of filming because I had family visiting and we just wanted to enjoy the time with them. So it's been two weeks since you've seen this new garden area. Prepare, prepare yourselves people. Okay, ready for this? And look at that. It looks exactly the same <laughs> as it did two weeks ago. So, well, maybe we haven't made the best progress over there. Um, I did get some things planted out in our other garden. Um, however, again, it was very, very minimal progress. So that's why this weekend I've got to get my button gear and we got to get some stuff going because this can't keep dragging on. So Lindy this week is actually, um, today she is going to be gone most of the day doing some stuff with work people, um, you know, having fun on jet skis while um, I labor on the farm basically. Y'all, really? Like having a healthy social life outside of the farm? Is that even advisable? Oh, anyways, so first things first, um, our wheelbarrow kicked the bucket this week and there's a hole just right through it. So that's not so great. So the first thing I need to do is go get a wheelbarrow. Then I'm gonna go get a couple yards of soil from the nursery. And just try and get all of those errands out of the way this morning, come back and get started on, I don't know, all of the things. Wheelbarrow, check. So, getting stuff done. Hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> now, we're gonna have to hit her. No other options. I know. I know. I'm not gonna lie. I choose good wheelbarrows. I'm leaving. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Have fun. I'm gonna go get soil. So two yards? You think? Oh yeah. Two yards she won't will even be enough. There. She won't even squat. I know. Isn't that how we started this channel? Was it getting is. our very first one was oh. almost breaking the truck and then getting. No, we didn't try. Almost we broke the truck. Todd the truck. No, that truck was already broken. Wait, you're not gonna go kennel the dogs? You're just leaving? I am. Fine. Bye, baby. Bye. I'll go kennel the crazy dogs. Hi, buddy. Ow. Oh. Kennel. Good boy. Here's a bone, here's a rope, and here's some cookies. Good, I'll be right back, okay? 
just finishing unloading things and then I'm going to jump into the truck and go get the soil for the garden bag beds. <laughs> I just want to get as many done while Lindy's gone as I can. It's just less effort that she has to do. For those of you that don't know, she does have MS and it hasn't been great lately. Like her health's just been, it's been less than ideal. <laughs> Let's put it that way. You know, every day's different, so it's hard to know. Um, but this isn't something that she needs to be using all of her extra strength for. So I'm blessed to have a very strong, healthy body. So the more that I can get done, the better. Plus that gives us more time to be able to just enjoy together and do more fun things or just work on other projects. Um, so I'm going to just try to bust some out today and see how far I can get. I don't think I'm gonna get through all 13 that are left. <laughs> ah, but we're making progress still. my shoes from the shoes that I used to go in town to our now farm exclusive boots. <laughs> so we have had two outbreaks in a very nearby area to us of the avian influenza, which is going around right now. And it's a pretty big deal. It's very contagious. And if your flock comes down with it, you have to cull your entire flock. Not to mention that's also extremely harmful to wild birds and can really devastate whole populations and really throw ecosystems out of whack. So we want to do everything that we possibly can, of course, to minimize the spread of that. Um, one easy thing is having a pair of boots that you use when you're on your property and a different pair of shoes that you wear when you're going out um, because it can be really spread in feces, saliva, anything like that from wild birds, um, other bird owners, things like that. So we're trying to do our best to be good stewards of our animals, be good stewards of our earth, and being very proactive. So another thing that we've done um, that I actually did last week was we ended up moving all of our birds indoors and containing them in their coops. Now, this certainly isn't fun for them. It's not fun for us. Ultimately, this is the smartest, healthiest, safest thing that we can do for them. So I moved all of the birds inside and buttoned up the coop and that was interesting <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> Why is there a little 
little bird in here. So those are just some of the measures we're taking. Who knows how long this is going to go on? Hopefully not long. I'm, you know, kind of, it's kind of bittersweet because it's making gardening so much easier <laughs> when I don't have birds, like, you know, kicking my mulch out and flying into the garden and digging things up. So in some ways it came, I guess, at as, as good a time as possible. But enough about that. I'm going to get to work now. I have a lot of soil. So I'm gonna pump up those tires on that new wheelbarrow and start loading soil into the garden bag beds. <laughs> okay, well, I have literally been at this all day. It's six o'clock now, which means <laughs> there's like planes flying over. So sorry if there's terrible noise, but I finished all of the first loads of like the filler soil, like the weedy soil that goes in the bottom. So two loads each into all of the bags. So I guess that's good progress. I really wanted to get further in. It doesn't look like much, but I mean, it's still a day's worth of work. I really wish these projects could get wrapped up in like the span of one nice little vlog and packed away, but that's just not realistic. I guess it's some progress, but I'm exhausted at this point and I need to stop for the night. I don't know if Lindy's ever coming home at this point. She probably has moved on with life after you know, hearing I was doing this again. Who can blame her? So anyways, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call it for the night, enjoy a nice cold beverage, and then take a shower, and probably just lay in bed and fall asleep to a movie. <laughs> so I will check in with you all tomorrow. I come out to join Lindy who's doing chores. You let the chickens escape. Ugh, it's such a nice day. I wish that we could let them out, but we're gonna get them some fresh kale from the garden, give them something to munch on, chase these guys back in, I guess. Okay, we did it. Cauliflower. Hey, not bad though. Not bad at all. Super awkward way to hold it. There we go. Okay, here's the tail for the chickens. See, this is why I always leave bolted plants because it makes good animal food. It does. Ridiculous. I got my kale. <laughs> it's so big. The artichokes this year. Yeah, they're no joke. Oh, we already have heads. One, two, three, I think four. It looks like a dinosaur plant. Five. I know, I love it. It's so beautiful. So help me understand how we got lettuce here. It makes perfect sense because the first year we were here, I planted lettuce in that bed. And then I let it go to seed. And of course it all tipped forward and dropped its seed. And now we have lawn salad. This is arugula that's mm -hmm. blooming. Uh -huh. And I learned that for some reason, just accidentally, when I was growing the arugula there, we had zero aphids on the artichokes that year. And artichokes are usually plagued with aphids, but instead they were all on these flowering stalks. So now I always have- So it's a sacrifice plant. Yeah, these will just be coated in aphids because obviously it's like sweeter. So then I just cut the stalks off and throw them away. And we haven't had any issues on our artichokes. Moment of silence for the sacrificed plants that do their job to protect the others. Thank you. Thank you, beautiful. We appreciate your service. We call that a trap crop. Dun dun dun. All right, weirdo, let's go. Okay, we're getting back into it. Well, I'm finishing my coffee. Then we're getting back into it, but Lindy started. So we're going to finish topping off 
topping off, bottoming off? That doesn't sound right. Anyways, at the bottom of the bags, we're using from the old soil pile. That's what Wendy's doing right now. So we're using from the old soil pile and basically finishing that pile of soil off and putting that in the very bottom of the bags. Then we'll start bringing over the compost and do like a big chunk of the middle layer of compost and then top it off with the good soil that I picked up yesterday. So here we go again. I don't wanna. I think Stanley put a tennis ball in there. Oh, bud. Did you put it in? Yep. There it is. He does what he can to help support. Stan, keep your balls out of my beds, okay? Your balls don't go in my bags. Ooh, that didn't sound right. Nope. That did not sound right, so keep your balls out of my bags. No, don't do Oh, no! Is that for you? Is this a Stanley bag? What are you doing? You big fat weirdo. You big weirdo. Come on, get out of my <laughs> Ah! So helpful. Let's just stand all of these back up now. Oh my gosh. Did you put it back in? Stanley, we just talked about this. Get out. Wait. Okay, back to work. here so we have all of the beds filled with the compost layer so they have a really thick layer of compost in all of them hold on there we go and um, so now we just have to top them off with the top you know like 10 inches or so of garden soil which is in the truck so at least for half of them over here we have an alleyway that we can like drive up and actually just go dump it directly into the beds and then for these ones over here against the fence we'll have to wheelbarrow that over all right, time to move the truck around, which means that everyone has to go. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, you get in the back seat. Oh, not in the front, not in the front. Back Look at them all. There we go. Oh, Mouse is gonna get in the front. Oh, Paisley already got in. Ida needs help. She wants to get in the back. Oh, did you want in the back? Brother's back there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's give him some help. Come here, sweetheart. All right. All right bye. See you on the other side, bye, guys. Have fun on an adventure. Have fun on your adventure. All right. One thing that we did when we designed the layout for the property, as far as you know, what we could design of it, is we made sure that there was truck access to every single area of the pasture and the garden. So that's why there is such a large middle aisle in there and there is a gate on the other side as well. And that's where we actually get deliveries unloaded. It's so important to have good access to all the areas.
can fix this. Thank God it's the last one, huh? And there you have it, folks. That's how simple it is to, in the short span of four weeks, fill 18 200-gallon bag beds, grow bag beds, 